friends. Today is Friday Fun with Sarah, and I have a really fun pattern that we're going to do together today. It's super easy. Now, the last couple patterns that we've done for Christmas ornaments have been a paw print and a dog bone. Well, we decided we didn't want to leave the kitty cats out, and so my friend who has a cat named Miss Kitty, we made her a fish. Let me show you. Here is our cute little fish ornament. Isn't that cute? Here's a green one. <laughs> and here's a red one. Now you'll notice that they have two kinds of eyes. This one has a nice big eye, and this one has, of course, a smaller eye. We'll talk more about that when we get into what you need to make your Miss Kitty's fish ornament. Now, this is measuring about four by five inches because of our cute little fishy tail. <laughs> and don't think these aren't good for other things also. They're the perfect size for a coaster. The only difference is you're not going to want to put that eye on there. You'll probably want to use a French knot for the eye or embroidery an eye on there if you're going to use this as a coaster. They also make great place markers. They make great gift tags and of course ornaments and we're calling this Miss Kitty's Christmas fish ornament or Kitty's fish ornament or just a fish ornament because if you're someone who just likes to go fishing or you know someone who just likes to go fishing this is a great ornament for them as well all right let's talk about what you need to make some of these fish ornaments to make one of our fish ornaments, you just need a small amount of yarn. Now, I really prefer using cotton yarn for this project, but if you want to use acrylic yarn, you can, or any fiber that you have on hand. I like to use the cotton, especially the peaches and cream, sugar and cream, those type cottons, because they help hold the shape of the fish better. All right, so I used red, yellow, and green, and some white in here um, for my three fish. Now today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use all three colors just to show you how you can mix it up a little bit and make a fun fish. It just takes a small amount, and we're using medium weight number four cotton yarns. And if you want to get in your yarn stash and use up some of your acrylic yarns, make sure you stick with medium weight number four yarns now as far as the eyes you can see here is just a big glittery eye i've used a purple one and a green one here and then this eye here is what you call a safety eye it looks like this and then we put the back on like this and i'll show you that because the one i'm going to do today i'm also going to do a safety eye if you're going to use this as a coaster I recommend not using one of these eyes and just using, say, a French knot or an embroidery on an eye so that you don't have a bump. The other thing is we added a snowflake, a Christmas ornament, and a package to these three fish. If you're going to use this as a coaster, you might want to stick with putting it up by the tie or not adding a tie by putting a decoration up there or maybe on the fish tail in order to keep it from you know if you put a, co a hot cup of coffee on there and you've got some beads some buttons or some eyes that coffee cup or whatever you're putting on there is not going to sit still so keep that in mind if you're going to use these as coasters they're a great size for a coaster but the little extra embellishments need to be moved around a bit and changed if you're not using it as an ornament or tag now I have this little mitten. I'm going to use the mitten on mine today as my button. And I'm going to put it up here on mine that I'm going to show you for our demonstration. We're going to be stitching today with an H hook. That's a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a needle for weaving in ends. And if you're sewing on your button, now if you're using maybe a flat button, you can use hot glue or E6000 or a fabric glue. Um, unless you're going to put these outside, keep in mind which glue you're going to use because your um, hot glue, when it gets cold, it's going to crack. I really recommend E6000. I know it takes a few more minutes to dry, but I love the E6000 glue. 
All right, and then of course, the last thing you're gonna need is your scissors. We'll be starting at the center and working our way out on our fish. And I've got my green yarn here, so I'm gonna start with my slip knot. And I'm going to chain five. I'm going to join this chain five into a circle, so I'll put my tail of yarn over my hook, pull it through that loop, and then just snug that down and tie that stay knot. If you prefer to use the magic circle here, you certainly can. We'll go in, pull up a loop, and chain three. Now we're going to stitch 11 double crochets in this chain five loop. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So our chain three counted as one and we stitched eleven more. And you'll notice that when I stitched this row, I stitched over that tail of yarn. That's because we're going to pull that and close that hole up. Let's join to our chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And then we'll just turn this over, gently pull on that piece of yarn, and go ahead and weave this end in. You can do it later if you want to. I just like to get it over with so I don't have to worry about it later. All right, so we got that all weaved in, nice and snug. We'll cut that off, and for row one, I have 12 double crochets because our chain three counted as one, and we stitched 11 more. All right, let's do row two. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet, and we're going to double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three. And then we're going to place two double crochets in each of those stitches around. So we had 12 double crochets for row one, and because we're stitching two double crochets in each of those 12 for row two, or round two, we're going to have 24 double crochets. So two double crochets in each of those double crochets around, and we'll join back to our chain three. For row two, I stitched those two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. So I have 24 double crochets. I'm going to join to my chain three with a slip stitch. And I'm going to cut my yarn because I'm going to change colors. If you're going to bring your color back in, like on this one, we did two rows of red, we did a row of yellow, and then we brought our red back in. You can leave your yarn attached and just carry that up if you want to. But I'm using three different colors, so I did cut my yarn, and I'm bringing in my red, and I'm going to chain one. I'm going to single crochet in that first stitch. There we go. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to stitch two single crochets. One, two. Now I'm going to stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the next. One and two. And I'll repeat this all the way around. One single crochet in the next, two single crochets in the next. One and two two. One, one and two. And I'm going to repeat this working all the way around, stitching one and two, and I'll join back to my first single crochet. We're not going to join to the chain one, we're going to join to the single crochet. 
I have repeated 1 and 2, 1 and 2 all the way around. So I'm going to join to my first single crochet with a slip stitch. And I'm going to cut my yarn because I'm changing colors to this yellow color for my last row on my fish. All right, so we'll join in that yellow. Let's have a little bit longer tail there to weave in. And we're going to chain four chains. One, two, three, four. We've chained four, and now in this first single crochet, we're going to stitch two triples. So two wraps over your hook, go in, pull up a loop, you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two, and yarn over, go through the third two. And now we'll stitch another triple in that same single crochet. Now we'll go to the next single crochet and stitch three triples. One, two, and three. And as you can see, we're making the tail of our fish. All right, now we're gonna stitch two triples in the next single crochet. One, two. Now we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. And slip stitch in that same stitch that we stitched those two triples. And now we've formed the tail of our fish. Now we're going to single crochet in the next 16 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, and 16. And now we're going to form the mouth of our fish. So we'll chain three, one, two, three, and we'll slip stitch in this same single crochet where we just stitched, and chain three, and slip stitch in that same single crochet. So there's our fish lips. <laughs> and now we're just going to single crochet all the way back around till we reach the tail. One in each of those single crochets. I have single crocheted in each one of those stitches all the way around the bottom of my fish. And I'm going to join right here where we did our first triple with a slip stitch. All right, we're going to clip our yarn. We'll make a loop and then we'll go in that next stitch and pull that loop to the inside or to the back, I should say. And we'll weave that in. Now I changed colors three times, so I have quite a bit there we go, pulled the wrong string. <laughs> I have quite a bit of ends to weave in, and I'll do that in just a minute, but this is the way that your fish should look. Those tails of yarn out of the way there. Here's our tail and our fish lips. <laughs> so I've decided I'm going to use a safety eye for this one, but you could use an eye like this, which would be super cute. Just use some hot glue, E6000, or fabric glue. But I decided I wanted to use a safety eye. Also, the other thing is the eye placement is up to you. You want it to look silly, put it down there, way back, way up front, way up close. The eye placement is totally up to you. All right, now I've got my safety eye. When you're putting a safety eye in something that's crocheted 
or um, knitted or something like that, you want to make sure that you're going to get that safety eye to stay on. And so you want to go through some stitches and not just a hole. For example, if I were to put this through this hole right here, this might slide all the way through to the back. All right, so what we want to do is we want to go right through the center of one of those double crochet stitches. Okay, and see how it went right through the center of that stitch? And then you just take the back and you put it on. Okay, I give it a good hard push. There is a tool that you can use for that. And I like the placement of that eye. I think it looks really cute. Now, the next thing I'm going to do before I put my button on is add my tie. Because I'm going to put my button right up on the edge of that tie. Another thing about these is you don't want to go through holes. You want to go through the stitch itself. That's going to make it a lot more secure. So we're going to go right in that single crochet stitch right there. Pull that through. And if you don't want to use this, you can use a ribbon. You can use your metal or whatever kind of ties that you like. I just really like using a corresponding color of yarn or maybe contrasting that looks nice on there. Okay, so I put the green one on because I have green here. Now I'm going to add this cute little mitten and I want to put it like right there where that tie is. So I've got some red thread yarn on here and I'm going to go around there but I want to go make sure I go in and grab some of those stitches and then I'm just going to make a loop all right I'm going to take my crochet hook and pull that to the back because that's where I'm going to tie that on is to the back all right and so now I'm just going to Put this through and this is going to be a little bit tight because the top of my needle is a little tight but I'm going to get it through all right and I'm going to go through some of the stitches so it stays put we're going to give that a good hard pull there we go and there's my mitten I like that I thought it would be neat to put mittens on there because I have another friend or a mitten I should say that has a cat and her cat's name is mittens because it has little white mittens actually only on the two front paws the other back two paws it's a black cat with two front white feet super cute all right so now I have a fun little ornament with a little mitten on the top and it has a little bit of a sparkle glitter on it which is cute I've got my safety eye on and my little Miss Kitty's fish is ready to be given to my friend so here is the same fish stitched four different ways and of course you don't have to use solid colors you can use variegated or whatever you have on hand and make some really cute fish ornaments and by changing out the eyes they look different because I love the great big eyes but I also like the little tiny ones as well so get in your button stash get in your safety eye and eye stash and your yarn stash and you can make up some really cute Miss Kitty fish ornaments, coasters, and appliques. Oh, my Santa, are these fun or what? <laughs> and I'm sure you, like I have, have lots of friends who have kitty cats or even friends who like to go fishing. These are great little fun ornaments. Use up your yarn stash, use up your button stash, and also use up some of those leftover safety eyes from other projects and you can make some Miss Kitty fish ornaments, appliques, tags, and coasters. Just have some fun.